Hello students. Okay, well now, now we're going to look at a slightly different type of question involving percent increase and percent decrease. So the question is, Tori earns $950 per week as an electrician, and she receives a pay increase of $32 per week. Write Tori's pay increase as a percentage of her original pay. So in this case, we're trying to find what percent $32 is out of the original price. Using our percent triangle, percent equals part divided by whole. So let's write down our formula. Percent is part over whole. Now the part is the increase. The original amount, or the whole amount, is 950. Let's go ahead and divide 32, divide 950. That'll give me the decimal. And I've got lots of decimal places here. I'm going to write down four of them. So 0, 3, 3, 6. I haven't rounded any of those. I'll be doing my rounding shortly. Now I'm going to turn that into a percent. So I've got to move my decimal point two places to the right. And finally, I want to round it. So I'll make that approximately equal to. So that's approximately equal to. And I want to round it to one decimal place. So I look at the second decimal place. Because that's uh, five or bigger, the 3 becomes a 4, and that becomes 3.4% rounded to one decimal place. So notice I had to keep four decimal places here to round to one decimal place in my final answer. Okay, I'd like you to try this question, similar to the one that I just did. Once you've uh, finished, we'll turn off the video. Once you've finished, turn it back on and you can check your answer. Okay, let's go ahead and see how you went. But once again, we're looking for the percentage. So we start by writing percent is part over whole. The part is the profit in this case, which is $200. The whole is the original amount, which is 1,500. I'll use my calculator to turn that into a decimal. 200 divide 1,500. And once again, I get lots of decimal places. So I'm going to write it down to, I'm going to copy down the first four places. To turn that into a percent, I've got to multiply by 100 or move the decimal point two places. So there it is, two decimal places. Now I want to round it off to one. So I look at the second decimal place. Because it's less than five, that stays as a three. And I end up with 13.3%. So that's a, um, how you solve questions uh, when you're trying to find a percentage increase or a percentage decrease. So you're actually looking for the percent itself.